Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about the very many books I would love to read before the end of the year. These are the books that I hopefully will read before December 31st. Um, these are all backlist titles that are on the top of my TBR that I really want to get to. None of these are like newer releases, um, but if you do want to know about what new releases I will be picking up, I do have a video, I'll link it down below, talking about romance releases that come out in the later half of the year that I'm very excited for. But this list has all like backlist titles in them. I'm mainly making this video to hold myself accountable <laughs> to actually pick these books up before the end of the year. There are many books on this list, but I needed them to be on a list in a video to keep myself accountable and to remind me, hey, read these books before the end of the year because you really wanna read them. My mood reader brain sometimes goes haywire and goes like off the rails. And I need sometimes to put myself back in track and be like, look at all these amazing books, read them. <laughs> so a video like this will definitely do that for me. So the first one that I would love to read before the end of the year is In the Weeds by B.K. Borison. I think this book just got republished because the author was picked up by a publisher and I am very much looking forward to reading this. So many people have told me, Avery, you need to read this book. Avery, you need to read this book. Avery, you would love this book. I need to read it. All I know is that the hero Beckett in here works on a farm and he is apparently like the sweetest guy ever, but he's also a grump and he takes care of a bunch of animals. Like he sounds like my kind of hero. And I think this is his second chance romance with a girl named Evelyn who comes back to Love Light Farms for a specific reason. I also haven't read book one in the series, so I think I want to do that as well. But I mainly want to read In the Weeds because so many of my friends love this book. And I think there's either an audiobook already out or an audiobook like in the works. So I definitely need to look into that. I have to read Reckless by Elsie Silver. I have to. This is the only book that I have not read yet in the Chestnut Spring series. I was supposed to read it a few months ago with Rachel. I'm supposed to buddy read it with her. And I just, I haven't picked it up yet and I feel horrible. Sorry, Rachel. Rachel really enjoyed this one. Um, but this is a surprise baby romance that takes place in a small town between Theo and Winter. You've met both of these characters in the previous books in the series. Winter is Summer's sister. Summer's the heroine from book one, Flawless. And Theo is a bull rider. And I think they have like a one night kind of thing and Winter gets pregnant. But Theo doesn't know about the baby until like a while later um, after the baby's already been born and everything. And I think he's like full force on becoming a dad. I love surprise secret baby romances, more so surprise baby. I'm not really that big of a fan of secret baby. So we'll see how I feel about this. I think that's the main reason why I've put it off is because secret baby is very much hit or miss for me. But I have faith that Elsie Silver will come in clutch <laughs> with this book. Um, but I do wanna read it, especially before Hopeless comes out, which comes out later. This year i want to read reckless before hopeless obviously i do want to read more britney cherry books and i feel like one that i definitely need to get to is the wreckage of us a lot of the books britney writes starts out with the couple being teenagers and them falling in love in that age of their lives and then jumping later on in life and then falling back in love i think that's what this one is um where the heroine of this book she uh, gets kicked out of her house when she's a teenager, I'm pretty sure, by her stepdad, her horrible stepdad. And she's kind of like living in an abandoned shed on this farm property, which just so happens to be Ian's property. Um, he is one of her classmates, I think. And he invites her to stay in their guest house. Um, and I think that's the point when they fall in love when they're younger. But then something happens to where her uh, stepdad gets arrested and her mom gets arrested, but her mom is either like very late in her pregnancy or just had a baby. And so she is now in charge of taking care of her like infant baby sister. I think the second chance part of this book is when Ian and her reconnect. He is now like in a famous band. That's all I really know. I love Brittany Cherry's books. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this one, so I hope I love it. I did want to put some books on my physical TBR on this list because I need to get to them. <laughs> it's bad. I have a lot of books I need to read. Um, so I picked Take Me Down by Avery Kingston. I met Avery Kingston about a year ago and learned about her books at the Wanderlust Book Signing in San Antonio last year. I asked a bunch of the authors at that signing, do you have any books with disability rep? I asked Avery Kingston that and um she's like um all of my books do and i was like oh my gosh 
sold. Um, sure you're gonna be my new favorite author. So I bought as many books as I can. I think I bought like three um, because I was not trying to spend all my money. And this is the only one out of the ones that I bought that I have not read yet. The only thing I know about this book is what she told me. She told me that the hero in here is a radio show host and he is blind. So disability rep, radio show host with a very attractive voice. And I don't know anything else. I'm gonna go into this book as blind as possible, but this book is also on Kindle Unlimited. So I will be reading it as an ebook because this seems way daunting compared to reading it on my Kindle. Um, but I really do like Avery Kingston's writing and I feel like her disability rep and the previous two books I've read by her were amazing. An author that I was introduced to this year is Kayla Grassi. I still do not know how to say her name. I am so sorry, <laughs> um, but I read two of her books. I loved one of them. Unfortunately, the other one wasn't really my favorite. So I'm really hoping this third one that I pick up is a hit. This is I Like You Like That. And I think the heroine in here is plus size and she's a celebrity. I think she's a singer possibly. And the hero is her bodyguard. Say less, say less. I love bodyguard romances as soon as you tell me. There's a bodyguard romance. I will pick it up. I know nothing else about this book, <laughs> but I think there is an audio. So that's fantastic. I'm definitely going to pick that up when I can, but I definitely want to read more of her books. I think after I read this one, I only have one more book to read and then I've read all of her books. So I need to get on it. Another book of my physical TBR that I want to get to is Oil and Chocolate by Nikki Kay. I met this author a while ago, about a year ago at a small little booth setup in my small Texas town or like one next to it. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're an author. Like it was an author booth, mainly like those booth pop-up things are like food and treats and candles and random things like that. Um, but it was an author with all of her books displayed and she writes romance books. And I was like, okay, what's the hottest book you got? And this was it. And I think this is a romance between a baker and a mechanic. Say less, I need to get to this though. This has been sitting on my shelves for a while and I do wanna to get to it and see if I really like her books cause then I can read her other ones. And I think all of her books are also on Kindle Unlimited, which is very nice. Um, but she was so sweet and I wanna like show my support for a small author and read one of her books. And this cover is just like stunning to me. I would like to continue on with some Sophie Lark books. I want to read all of her Underworld Mafia series before I get into her like Kingmaker ones, like the second gen books. So the next book on my list is Roman, which is book three in her Underworld series, which is her first Mafia romance series. Um, I don't know anything about this book because a lot of my friends just read um, Ivan and Snow and then jump into Kingmaker, Kingmakers, but I kind of just want to read this whole series all the way through. This is a bully mafia romance, okay. <laughs> Our heroine apparently wants revenge on Roman, who is a Bratva prince, but then in high school he spent every single day of high school torturing her. Now he's the head of the Paris Mafia, more powerful than ever. And she's apparently gonna get close to him, learn all of his secrets and then destroy him. Okay, so it's like a revenge plot. I love revenge plot lines where they plan to get back at the other person, but they fall in love with them instead. So everyone's been telling me to read Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt. I read my first Tara DeWitt book this month and I need to read more. I read the co-op, I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it. So I need to read Funny Feelings. This is a single dad romance. And I think it's also friends to lovers. I think both of them are comedians. Um, and I think his son or daughter, his child is deaf and the heroine knows sign language and is able to communicate with them. Like it just has a lot of the things I love. And I feel like I'm gonna fall in love with this book. Like everyone tells me that I'm gonna love this book. Just like in the weeds, I feel like in the weeds in this book, like some people have told me to read. I just need to get on it. I'm gonna go into this book blind. I'm waiting to get the audio hold in from my library. Um, but I have read the co-op and I really do vibe well with Tara DeWitt's writing. So I have high hopes for this one. Next I have On Thin Ice by LA Cotton. Some amazing people have been so sweet and been DMing me like Avery, you should read this book because it has celiac disease representation. A few people have messaged me and so I need to pick it up. This is a hockey romance where the heroine apparently has celiac disease. That's all I know, that's all I know, but the hero apparently plays hockey also. <laughs> um, and say less, I need to read more books with celiac disease representation, like I need it in my life. I think I purchased the audiobook already 
or it's you know i'm waiting for my next credit or whatever but this will be read very soon so do not worry little lies by h hunting has been on my list for so long and i need to read it before the end of the year i have to i think this book series is the second gen to the puck series i think correct me if i'm wrong but this is like more new adult range i think yeah okay this is about lavender and kodiak okay 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 so the here and the heroine of this book are second gens from Helene Hunting's two series. I've read Puck, the Puck series, but I haven't read her other series yet. But it's on my TV, I'm gonna read it soon. So I've heard amazing things about this. Even Catherine Cowles has told me to read this book. I think it has amazing anxiety representation and I need to like find more new adult romances I vibe well with because I feel like I'm falling out of love with that part of romance and I don't want to. <laughs> so I need to find good ones. I saw this one and needed to read it. This is The Impossible Princess by Chiara Dominguez. Um, I first saw the cover of book two, which is stunning also, on Instagram. And I was like, okay, let me go look at book one. That looks so cute too. I'll read the summary for this one because it's really cute. Okay. Hoping to carve out a meaningful role in the royal family of Sandmark, Clara needs to prove to her mother that she can be the perfect princess. Perfect means opening mass transit car parks and giving speeches on childhood nutrition without a hair out of place. Perfect doesn't mean developing a crush on an unnamed military officer she sees once a year, but infatuation is a victimless crime and nobody ever has to know. When Princess Clara falls into his arms in front of a bank of photographers, Lieutenant Commander Max Anderson of Her Royal Majesty's Royal Navy is thrust into the tabloids, the gossip threatening his promising career. He hates the sudden glare of media attention and hates how it diverts focus from his job. But the way Clara feels in his arms is a different story. It sounds so cute. I love royalty romances. And I really want to read this one and number two because I think that one deals with a princess as well. I really want to read Mind to Have by Natasha Madison before the end of the year. Hopefully the whole series before the end of the year because I do know one of the books in this series is a Surprise Baby, which y'all know me, I'm on that kick right now. So I need to read the other books before getting to that one. I think that one's like book four. So I have to read the other ones first. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is about Harlow and Travis. Apparently... Harlow is standing at his wedding, sees him getting married to somebody else. And apparently they're exes and it's like a second chance romance, but I'm interested to see how this plays into the fact that he's getting married. <laughs> like, what is this other woman going to be doing? I don't like other woman drama, so we'll see how I like this one, but this is on this list so I can read the other books in the series because I want to get to that surprise baby one. Tabitha from Probably Love Story on Instagram. She's been hyping this book up all over Instagram and I need to read it. This is Give Me Butterflies by Jillian Meadows. This just came out. It came out on July 25th. Yeah, she's been hyping it up like crazy. I love the like trope graphic the author posted and I just, I need to read it. Apparently this is a, a workplace romance between Millie and Finn. They both work at a museum and they're kind of like astronomy nerds together. It sounds really cute. This is a slow burn single guardian romance that features a handsome grump who seems to only smile for his nieces, an anxious curator, finding the confidence to believe in herself and a cast of endearing meddling side characters. It's full of swoon worthy moments, nerdy banter and enough fiery tension to light the museum ablaze. I don't think I've ever read like a book that takes place in a museum. So this should be really fun. But the way that Tabitha was hyping it up, like makes me want to read it. Whenever my friends hype up a book, like I feel FOMO. I want to, I want to know what it's all about. Then another series that I've seen all over Instagram is the Best Friends Book Club series. And the first one is Academically Yours. This is about Noelle and Matthew and the heroine enrolls to be a grad student at this college where she meets a very grumpy professor named Matthew who is all in with her. He is gonna pursue her like crazy. So I'm excited about that because you normally read like professor romances where like the professor is like the one that's like, no, we can't be together, but no, it's the opposite. She's like, we can't be together. And he's like, I like you, but I don't think he is her professor. He's a professor on campus where she is a grad student at. I do have a few series I need to mention. I just wanna read as many books as possible in the Severi Maid series, which is an alien romance series that I've been buddy reading with Tiffany. These are alien romances that are absolutely fantastic. They read like fantasy romances, um, but also incorporating 
alien romance stuff, obviously. So if you love fantasy romances, I feel like this series would be a great place for you to start. I do recommend reading them in order, please. Um, you'll get more world building that way. Um, but I've only read the first two books and I'm about to read book three. So I want to read as many as possible. Tiff and I are going to buddy read, like I think like a book a month. Um, so as many as possible before the end of the year because I'm obsessed with the series but I don't think I could like marathon it all at once because they are pretty long. Another series I love to mention is I finally want to finish the Terran Soul series by C.L. Wilson. Like this is a fantasy romance series I'm obsessed with. There's five books in this series. This is book four and book five and they are all about the same couple, Eliseta and Rain. Rain is the most powerful fake creature to ever exist and he finds out he is fated, mated to a human mortal woman named Eliseta Baristani, um, who seems very ordinary in the grand scheme of things compared to what he goes through. Um, and these books are so good. They're so good. So book four is Queen of Song and Souls. I think I'm going to start this one fairly soon in August. And then the last book is Crown of Crystal Flame. I am so excited to finally pick these up. Like we're just getting like into like the villain and the backstory of this magical world. Like it's so cool. If you've not read these books yet, you need to. I think they're redoing the covers. They just redid the cover of book one because I know that some people don't really like these covers, which I think they're iconic. <laughs> but um, book one just got a new cover, which very interesting. Um, so I don't know if she's gonna recover all of them, but I do have them all in the OGs. So I'm very excited and happy about that. So maybe go, if you like these books, go buy the OG covers before all the covers are changed. Just do that now if you love these books. But if you love fantasy romances and you need a good wreck, these are the way to go. Um, I really hope I love these two. Like book three broke my heart in places. And so I think that's why I've been hesitant to pick up the other ones. Cause I feel like this book is gonna wreck me. And hopefully this book puts me back together. The Demon Court has been on my TBR sitting in my Kindle Unlimited library for so long, but it is such a long book. It's so intimidating. I love Emma Hamm. I love her fantasy romances. And this one looks so good. I've seen some of the artwork she's had commissioned for it and it makes me drool. Like it's so good. <laughs> Okay. And I was like, if the artwork can make me do that, I need to read the actual book. But I think like each of the books in this series is about one of the seven deadly sins, like personified into like a person. I think this one's like the lust demon or whatever. And the heroine's task to seduce the god of lust or something like that. I don't know, but it's fairly long. And I definitely want to read this one before the end of the year, because I'm also trying to read books by authors going to a polycon next year. Um, so I don't have to like read all of them before. I go um and so I just want to space out the books and Emma Ham is going to be there so I, I want to read this one before I see her. Another one that I've put off because it's so long but I just need to get to it is A Soul to Heal by Opal Rain. I adored book one in this series A Soul to Keep. This is a like fantasy demon monster romance series that is so good. I've only read book one but I know this one is about a plus size heroine who um, falls for this demon creature guy. I don't remember his name. I don't even think he has a name. Based in book one, he didn't. He is like the sweetest little demon dude ever. He's huge, he's not little, he's not little. Um, but I'm very excited to read this because I loved book one so much and this video needs to keep me accountable and finally read the other books in the series. There's four books in the series out now and I started it when there was only one. So I, I need to flip in, pick up, book two, and then the other ones as well. And the last one that I have to read before the end of the year is Alien Tyrant by Ursa Dax. I've read one book by Ursa Dax and even on Ursa Dax's arc team now, I really like her writing, but I have to read the series that everyone is obsessed with by her. This is the first book in the Fated Mates of the Sea Sand Warlord series. I don't know anything about it. I don't want to know anything about it. It's an alien romance series that everyone loves, so I I have to pick it up. Anyways, so you have it to let me know down below what you think of the books that I mentioned today. And if there are any books that I should put on my priority, let me know like which books I should start first. You know what I mean? And also if you want to buddy read them with me to keep me even more accountable, I would very much appreciate that. You can DM me on Instagram if you want to buddy read any of them. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me the cloud emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.